Welcome to episode 16 of On Our Bike. It's our last few days at Wanaka and Mount Cook on our way back to Christchurch. Okay, this morning Donna decided that we should walk up Mount Iron. So it's nine o'clock, zero degrees, and I'm just loving it. So hopefully when we get to the top, the view is gonna be awesome. Well, here we are. We can actually see the end. And just a bit of a hurdle to get over the, to the other side. See if I can get over here without dropping my phone. Uh, without groaning too much. That'll be the trick. But I guess it's looking like it was worth it. And there's Donny waving, saying, come on, Muzzy, not much further. Found this at the top a few minutes ago. I reckon I was going to have to need that. Anyway, almost to the top. And a great day for a walk anyway. Okay, we made it by the top. Last time we saw this view, we were in an aeroplane flying to Milford Sound. I think I much prefer to look at the view from that aeroplane, only because I'm lazy. And this just makes it look so much harder to do. But I guess the main thing is we did it. And we can cross this one off our bucket list, which really wasn't on it. And anyway, it's all good. the walk down which is a little trickier than the walk up I have to say so taking my time looking at the ground and not at the camera so I'm not sure what I'm videoing I opted to do the round trip Just decided to stop and video the up path. Pretty smooth. And then get into this beautiful stuff here. It just looks great. Big rocks in there, nice colours. Makes it all worthwhile, I think. I just walked around the corner. I've been enjoying the solitude and looking at the beautiful moss on the side of the track and glanced up and have a look at what I saw. The rock formations are absolutely stunning. The rocks on the track are not so stunning. is going to just love not sure on those stop just there <coughs> I think we're only about halfway well I'm only about halfway down Murray's following along a little bit slower behind me 
My knees are starting to hurt now, so I think it'll be a bit of Panadol a bit later. So, a bit over three quarters of the way down and got this view, so I thought, why not? And then as I keep tilting the camera down, you just can't see the angle of the path. But anyway, that's okay. Maybe if I turn around this way. Oh no, it doesn't look too bad that way. But anyway, Don is probably sitting in the car waiting for me and thinking, where is he? Okay, it's quarter past 11 in the morning and there's still frozen puddles on the track and when we go up here we can still see ice on the ground from the frost. Despite the road and the bumps, the view is pretty spectacular. Well, it's very steep and full of corrugations, and it's not a four wheel drive. So, can't wait to get back to the end of the muddy bit. Feeling when the is that the worst part? Well, I think that was the worst part, wasn't it? I can hope so. So we had no traction going down then. the car slip sideways. <laughs> Won't do this again. Not today anyway. Cam probably not going to keep up with her. It's pretty scary. I'm catching you. That's the professional push bike rider of the family. She just powers ahead. Don't worry about broken knee Murray. Just tear off at 100 mile an hour. Anyway, we'll see how I go. First thing that can happen is I fall off. 
you to laugh. Anyway. Oop, people, concentration. How do I turn it off? Yes, it comes at 3,000 mile an hour. How am I supposed to get this on video footage? Okay, ready? Hang on. Yeah, off you go. Just riding past the edge water. Very manicured gardens and a lovely view of that. Whoop, whoop. I think I need to keep the GoPro on in Donna's hands. I'm a bit radical. Hello. definitely be back we love it here so much this is the second and I promise the last goodbye to Wanaka we took a photo from here yesterday and it was beautiful so we thought we'd just have one last little stop and we're on the little jetty and goodbye Wanaka don't know where but we'll be back decided today, because it was such a beautiful day, to drive into Mount Cook on the way back to Christchurch. And what a beautiful day it is. And there's Mount Cook in the distance, which we should be able to get a lot closer to. And a lake with a name that starts with a P that I can't pronounce. So we'll just leave it as Lake P. Donna down there hunting for the shot of the day. And we we're just so lucky to have such a beautiful day whilst we're driving back to Christchurch to be able to stop here. Closer to Mount Cook, but every time we take a different turn on the road, it looks like something else that we need to stop and photograph because it's just such a great day today. So I think on our next corner it might actually be Mount Cook, but then I guess that'll depend whether another video 
just follows this one. It's just nice. Oh, there's the car. and that's the after effects of it. When we were riding up, driving up here, we thought that um, that looked very avalanche on that part of the mountain, not that we would know, but wow. <laughs> 